Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 30 of the Disguy PC uh, LP. I'm Buddy Bison, and let's get back into the story. So, uh, between last episode and this episode, I just, uh, I didn't do much. I bought a weapon for Hogmizer, but that's it. We finally got you cornered, Carter! Release Jennifer now! As you wish. Look, her hair is not blonde. Jennifer! Hey. Uh, huh? That's not what I expected. Me neither. Hey, you call this a modification? <laughs> so you found out about it, eh? That's right. I've installed a neural override device. Override? Exactly. Jennifer is now my puppet. Jennifer, go defeat Gordon. <laughs> this must be a joke. I, the defender of Earth, could never lose to such a delicate creature. Cut out to be a hero. <laughs> what do you think of that? Jennifer is a master of the ancient martial art, Kung Fu. What? I never knew that. You never asked. That explains it. So what am I supposed to do? No way can I use my full fighting potential against Jennifer. You lose anyways, man. We just blow up the entire ship. Oh, no, you don't. I already claim this ship. Ah, uh, I see. Well, so much for that idea. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, facing his greatest challenge ever. How pathetic, Gordon. What happened to that spirit you were bragging about? Curtis, you're better already. Your voice woke my heart up to the ideals I forgot long ago. Stand aside. Let me show you my defender spirit. Jennifer, kill that traitor first. <laughs> Gordon, you called me a comrade. I looked up to you. That's why I became a scientist in the first place. Funny, isn't it? How did things end up like this? If only I had realized sooner. No, it's enough that I realized it in the end. I bet they're smiling down on me from heaven. Jennifer, stop wasting your time with that miserable traitor. Curse you all. I'll just blow you all up and Jennifer too. In case of an event like this. I planted a bomb inside the neural override device. <laughs> now die! I made that device, and I know its weakness. <laughs> Jennifer, I can't let you die here! <laughs> Curtis! Hey, Gordon, do you think I could ever be a true defender of Earth? Yeah, yeah, of course you could be. What am I saying? You are a true defender of Earth! <laughs> Thanks, Gordon. I won't forget the defender spirit you showed me. I should be the one thanking you, Curtis. You will be known as the 38th Defender of Earth. Heed my words, Death. 
I command you in the name of King Laharl, lead the soul of Curtis, Defender of Earth, to his family's side. Prince? Laharl! Don't say a word. As the overlord of the netherworld, I was just paying homage to a true hero. That's all. Yes, I understand. Carter, I'll never forgive you! <gasps> Wait, Gordon! Jennifer, you're back to normal! Yes, I was conscious the entire time I was being controlled. Because of me, Curtis... He did what he thought was right. I'm sure he has no regrets. And now his spirit will burn brightly in your heart. Yeah. You're right. Jennifer, you are no longer my assistant. Fight alongside me as an equal, as a defender of Earth. Thank you, Gordon. I understand. Let's forget about the past and concentrate on the present. Wait, wait, Jennifer. I'm your father. No, I haven't. If you hadn't taken me in back then, I might not be here today. I loved you and believed in you. But we were never a true family to begin with. You raised me only so you could manipulate me. I'll never call you father again. Prepare yourself, Carter. <laughs> you ungrateful little... That's it. Die! Celestial host? Why? Why are angels helping him? Apparently someone's been pulling strings from behind the scenes. Celestia's involved, huh? It just keeps getting better, Prince. It can't be. Is this the will of the Seraph? Okay. So... A bit to talk about in terms of just plot and whatnot. So now we're fighting angels. Uh, but we don't get to fight Carter. Which is unfortunate, because I would like to beat the shit out of him. Um, one thing that I do like about that cutscene is how Laharl just kind of accepts that it's like, oh yeah, she did call dibs on this. I guess I won't blow it up then. <laughs> like, that's just a very reasonable thing. Just like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. I guess I can't really blow up a ship because you said you, said you called dibs. I just find that very funny. Um, okay, and then Flan, you can use Wind. Or like they take away a teammate only to reinstate them, or even take away a teammate permanently. Because it's like, what if someone really liked that character and then just dumped a shit ton of time into like making Die. them their best character, Die. Die. and then Pray. it's just gone? Die. Pray. Like I always feel so sorry for this imaginary person. It's like, oh, that must suck. That must suck so hard. Um, okay, so you have 278 health left. Um, I need to basically 
try to kill you all in one turn. So, none of you like ice. Which is good, because I need to kill you with some Giga Fire. Okay, good. I thought I'd maybe attack with them. But it seems like I did not. So, what I'm going to do is go to Sunny Drop. Seven now. He needs all the levels he can get. Uh, which one? Which one's be this? Heal. You have heal. You have heal. You all have heal. Okay. Cool. That makes it a bit easier because I don't have to worry about that type of stuff. Okay. I'm gonna move him one forward. damage to it, but it'll be incapable of one hit. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna lift this one so she can't heal her. Which is very important. Because I don't want Die. anyone to get Die. healed. Even if I do have to take some damage. Hoping for another level, but I didn't even bother to look to see if I could. <laughs> you may have foiled my plans this time, but I'm not through yet. Wait, Carter! <laughs> Farewell! I can't believe it! Demons are that powerful? His information was completely wrong. Damn him! Was he trying to drive humanity into extinction from the beginning? Who is he? Oh, who, who are you? No matter how advanced your technology is, it is impossible to infiltrate the netherworld without help. Now answer, who is behind this? I, I, I can't. If you do not say, I will kill you. It, it's a man with white wings. I'm innocent. I, I, I just wanted to save the Earth. I see. Foolish human. You cannot save the Earth. How do you intend to save all of mankind when you cannot even save your daughter? You have sacrificed the lives of others to satisfy your own ego. Until you realize that, you will be plagued by nightmares. We will be watching you. Oh, why am I so awesome?
Thank you, Curtis. I will never forget you. I swear to you that I will fight with both our strength for the sake of humanity. No, not just for humanity, for every living creature. I will too, Curtis. You saved my life. I shall repay you by dedicating it to world peace and to preventing others from becoming victims like you and your family. Juan? I'm going back to Celestia. What? I must return to find out the Seraph's true intentions. Seems like one problem leads to another. We found out that the humans were being manipulated by the angels. Now, Flan wants to return to Celestia to go face to face with the Seraph himself. What awaits her there? Will the Archangel's true intent be finally revealed? Next on Disgaea, Hour of Darkness, final episode. What lies beyond the battle? The fate of the Netherworld is in your hands. This must be a dream. Ben is acting all serious. Could this be a sign of terrible things to come? It's the end of the world! End of the world. Danger, danger, danger. After learning that Celestia was behind the incident with the Earth Defense Force, I made up my mind to go back to Celestia to ask the Seraph about it directly. The Netherworld, Celestia, the Human World. I never imagined that this war, which involved the entire universe, would come to such an unexpected end. Your mind's made up? Yes. I must speak with the Seraph and find out what has been happening in Celestia. Do you realize that you may have to face him as an enemy? Face Master Lamington as my enemy? He's the head of Celestia, right? We know that someone in Celestia has been helping the EDF. He must have known about it. I agree. I think it's very possible that he's even the mastermind. Wasn't he the one who ordered you to go to the Netherworld in the first place? To assassinate my old man? What? An angel ordering an assassination? That's just wrong. He's guilty without a doubt. No, he's not. Can you say that for sure? I believe in Master Lamington. I see. All right, then. Let's get going. It's a good opportunity for me to check out this so-called Seraph. I'm going with you. Laharl! Jeez, Prince, why don't you just admit it? I'm worried about Flan, so I'm gonna go with her. What's so hard about that, huh? F fool That's far from the truth! Now, now, we all feel the same way, Harley. Jennifer's right. As the defender of Earth, I cannot let my comrade go alone. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. We are comrades. We go together. End of discussion. Huh. <laughs> Bunch of fools. Everybody! Thank you! Final episode. What lies beyond the battle. Okay. And if you remember, uh, at the end of the next episode preview they said Disgaea Hour of Darkness I believe. Uh, I believe that's the name of the PSP version. The original PS2 I believe was Afternoon of Darkness. Um, 
just figured I would say that. Because the version I played was just called uh, Disgaea DS. Um, so each one has a slightly different name, as every remake does. Um, don't know why I'm saving again. I actually probably shouldn't in case I accidentally killed someone. Uh, so we're almost good. Friendly code count. There we go. So if I can just make it all the way to the final boss and not kill someone during the final boss, uh, then I will have been successful in my endeavor of getting the ending I wished for. So, let's go in. Okay, that connects last year in the Netherworld, Prince. Please be careful. Don't worry about it, babe. Gotcha. Uh, and I still haven't gone through, like, all of Preland or all of Cave of Ordeal, uh, because I just don't feel like it, and I'm not that high level. Um, yeah. So, Field of Virtue. So, this is the entrance to Celestia. It is said that one of the former Seraphs had this gate constructed to cut off the Netherworld from Celestia. That's why it can only be opened by the residents of Celestia. Hm, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to open the gate. Is everybody ready? Bonjour, everyone. It is a pleasure to see you here. Oh, it's you. Mr. Midboss! Weren't you saying earlier that only Celestians can open this gate? Oh, um, that's strange. <laughs> it has been thousands of years since a demon other than moi passed through this gate. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all clear to me now. You're an evil henchman who's been hired by the Seraph. <laughs> Wrong! That sound was great. <laughs> I know! You're an angel in disguise! Another wrong answer! You all have very active imaginations, but I, the Dark Adonis, just happened to be passing by. Nothing more. Huh. So, Dark Adonis, why is it that you're in Celestia? I am here to test your resolve. What? From this point on, you will face challenges unlike anything you have experienced before. Whether or not you can emerge victorious, I would like to see with my own eyes. But what does that have to do with you? Why do you care? Answer me! <laughs> we have talked long enough. Show me what you are capable of. Okay. So, I remember when I played this uh, the first time. This was like my grinding map. It was just the map where I went to grind for hours and hours and hours just so I could try and possibly beat the final boss because if you're if you're seeing this like look at these guys stats like he's level 70 and these guys are level 65 like it's highly intended that you are supposed to grind um so he doesn't like ice he doesn't like fire he doesn't like fire and he doesn't like ice so what that tells me is I need to come over here Demolish this mofo with uh, some ice ropes. It should be. Okay, so now he's level 58. And these guys all give plus 100% XP, which is really nice. So I'm going to take Gordon. And I'm going to lift Ernest. And I'm going to throw him over here. Because he has a lot of range, so he doesn't need to be close to the enemies. And I don't want to worry anyone. So what I need to do is take another person. Unfortunately, Dark Donis also moves. I wish they didn't count it because they just saved their own deaths. But that's to be expected. So if he doesn't like fire, he doesn't like fire, and you don't like ice. So we need to take out the extra. 
Who's first? Gigafire. Three more people I can dispatch. But what I want to do is I want to once again throw this dark dog is easily the strongest. He'll probably attack her. Maybe do a move that can also get to Edna. I'm not too worried about that. That'll just happen if it does. I can't really stop that. I should be able to do this fight, it just takes a bit more thought. Here. Okay. Ugh, okay. So, you don't like fire. Um, I do. I'll take... Um, left throw. Quite a bit stronger than every other time we faced him, which is to be expected. Um, Smacked pressure. Uh, mega ice. Draft. Pretty rain. This should do quite a bit of damage. Uh, less than I was hoping, but next turn he should die. Here. Oh god. Holy shit. Okay, so seems like the Dark Adon or the Adonic Buster is just like a square around him. Uh, which is honestly pretty freaking powerful, and it sucks that he was able to. Strongest attack. Uh, these guys. So 
use Flan because she's not the best right now. And then Emma has never really had the best attack. But she's using Emma, which should be better in her against the Lush. So if this doesn't kill him, then my team is basically done. But it should. Okay. Oh, fush. <laughs> Your teamwork is impressive. I commend you for having come so far. Huh? Where's the usual pathetic excuse of yours? Demons, angels, humans? Rather than learn about each other, they use words such as good and evil to differentiate themselves. That is the sad truth. Wait, that reminds me of something Master Lamington once said to me. However, through our battle, you have proved to me that regardless of our differences, all creatures can become one in spirit. As long as you bear that in mind, I am sure you can overcome any ordeal. Uh, Prince, something's definitely wrong. Midboss is acting all serious. Y yeah this must be a trap of some sort. Who are you, really? <laughs> as I said, I am the Dark Adonis. Farewell! Ha! <laughs> So, what was that all about? Beats me. I think Mr. Midboss was trying to encourage us in his own way. He is a true rival indeed. Oh, the beauty of friendship between rivals. Were we all listening to the same conversation? Master Lamington! Master Lamington! We have an emergency! What is the matter? That traitor Flan has begun her invasion of Celestia, leading a battalion of demons! The day has finally come. We are prepared to intercept the demons! I will lead the troops myself, with your permission, of course. Very well. I shall leave the matter to you, but I want them captured unharmed. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Captured? Nonsense! I will kill them amidst the confusion. It is only a matter of time before I become a god. And that is when I, Volcanus, shall establish absolute peace in the universe! Okay. So, that was a bit tougher of a battle than uh, everyone's probably expecting. So, uh, what I'm going to do is, I mean, I also put a bunch of uh, items and whatnot. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take some time, probably grind some uh, levels out, and uh, I may just do my best and, I don't know, hopefully make quick work of the levels and whatnot. But uh, I'm not sure uh, how easy it'll be. Uh, maybe I'll just start next episode and see if I make any progress. Oh well. Uh, ooh, that's a very nice Oh yeah, I forgot I picked that up. Well, not pick it up, it was one of my rewards. So I need to... I need to equip that on someone. Because that's quite useful. Um, okay. With that, I uh, hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Bye!